and the third method is indirect method indirect method this first method direct methods means uh, actually the, as i already mentioned uh, test pits or trial pits comes under direct methods where you you do investigation up to very shallow depth that means very small, less depth 2 to 3 meter see when your soil is good uh, you can go for a trial pits test pits if your soil is not that much uh, stiff you need to go for borings 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 are semi direct methods semi direct methods see if you are you are not interested to disturb the soil you want to know the type of soil without opening the ground without touching the ground it is possible by implementing geophysical methods they are indirect methods now coming to i will try to show some pictures about how usually we are doing direct methods of investigation okay now you see here it is a trial pit it is a trial pit that means uh, we just made a pit in ground now i am trying to see the profile of the ground to be frank here anyone can say now so what soil, what type of soil you can anyone say uh, you uh, what type of soil you can see here visually uh, can anyone say uh, what type of soil it is after excavation yes please hello yes please so what type of soil it is hello hello vin padutundandi ఇది ఏ సాయిలో చెప్పగలరా ఇది తవ్వాక చూస్తే ఇది ఏ సాయిలో అనిపిస్తుంది అంటే జస్ట్ సే విజువల్లీ ఇట్స్ లుక్స్ లైక్ శాండ్ ఆర్ క్లే ఆర్ గ్రావెల్ బై సీయింగ్ దిస్ పిక్చర్ క్లే సార్ ఈజ్ ఇట్స్ ఎ క్లే అండ్ ఆల్సో మిక్స్డ్ విత్ స్టోన్ విత్ గ్రావెల్ స్టోన్ మీన్స్ ఇయర్ గ్రావెల్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ టు బి ఫ్రాంక్ ఇట్స్ ఎ గుడ్ సాయిల్ Uh, whenever you are having feel of good soil you can go for trial pit that means directly you will open the ground directly we will open the ground you can see the soil like this you see this is a trial pit so i am seeing the profile of the ground now so next semi direct methods means borings this is very important uh, which people should know uh, what is the meaning of this word boring so boring also called drilling now you see uh, i will show you some pictures here you see uh, this is agar boring these two people are busy with uh, making hole in ground boring means making bore hole making uh, bore making hole in the ground in order to investigate the soil so these people are busy with uh, doing agar boring now you see these people using stem agar so this is what i say this is not manual agar this is not hand operated agar this is a machine operated agar automatic agar now you can see here very conventional whenever you visit any construction site you can see these two kind of agars uh, where, where, wherever you see when, whenever you go in and around vijayawada when people making holes in ground uh, when in the name of uh, exploring soil or or even for construction of foundation generally they use these agars these these agar uh, they call post hole agar uh, to be frank in layman language they call it as bulb agar and sometimes you use helical agar so this is the drilling rod this is the drilling rod so this this is the handle actually so to ha uh, to handle it uh, so actually we are keeping our hands here so firmly and we are trying to penetrate this uh, drilling rod forcibly into the ground then we will rotate this handle now then uh, this particular drilling rod is uh, now penetrating into the ground so very commonly so i will show one picture now uh, see these three people so they are busy with manual agaring i have shown you the this is what i say this is what i say this is a, a machine agaring whereas this is manual agaring 
so now coming to you can see here uh, this is what actually i want to present you this is a shape of helical agar the helical agar is uh, uh, much effective than uh, postural agar so here you see this picture taken by me actually during one soil investigation the people are using hand operated agar okay this is the drilling rod actually hope my cursor is visible to you so this is the drilling rod the end of the drilling rod is attached with this agar agar okay so now you see here this is a helical agar if you go deeper depth it is good to use helical agar so this is one one agar but uh, the main limitation of the hand operated agar is it can be used for only shallow depth shallow depth shallow means not deep only for 2 to 3 meter or sometimes 3 to 5 is also very difficult but we can try so now you can see here it is a power driven agar so there is no need of much human interaction so you can see here it is a truck mounted agar actually we are using these trucks so so this agar is now mounted on this truck now so we can do now agaring for deeper depths deeper depth means you can go up to 20 30 meter 40 50 50 like that so for hand operated agaras so you can go up to 4 meter like that 5 meter so now you can see now uh, one can undoubtedly say this is wash boring this is the picture of wash boring actually uh, wherever you see whenever you observe uh, bore wells bore wells mere apne na mere whenever you you are maybe you are whenever you are walking on the road in day to day life we use it to see uh, some you, you, you use it to observe at get various sites uh, wash boring wash boring many times in vijayawada even i use it to observe in a day not even in, in a day uh, at least within uh, within a two days of my daily uh, visit to the uh, play, uh, visit when i am traveling on uh, road when i am walking on road or when i am uh, observing uh, on the road side i use it to observe uh, this wash boring it is a quite common uh, you, actually in the name of soil investigation and not only soil investigation uh, bore wells so to explore the ground water we use it to go, we use it to make drilling uh, to explore the ground water here you see this is a typical ex uh, setup now how people are making bore holes using wash boring just now i shown you agar boring agar boring is okay for shallow depths agar boring is okay for shallow depths but if you wants to go deeper and deeper many times uh, very frequently used method is wash boring actually someone can ask me what is wash boring how the name is came wash boring actually you, you can see here i hope my mouse uh, marker is visible to you కనబడుతుందండి ఈ మౌస్ ది హలో ఎస్ సర్ యా ఐ నో ఓకే థాంక్యూ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద డ్రిల్లింగ్ రాడ్ యాక్చువల్లీ చాలా మంది అడుగుతారు మీరు డ్రిల్లింగ్ రాడ్ అని చెప్తున్నారు వాట్ డు యు మీన్ బై డ్రిల్లింగ్ రాడ్ అంటే ఇది ఒక పైప్ అండి జస్ట్ జస్ట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ జస్ట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఏ పైప్ కాస్ట్ ఐరన్ పైప్ ఈ కాస్ట్ ఐరన్ పైప్ కి చివర డ్రిల్లింగ్ బిట్ పెడతాం ఇప్పుడు మీకు చూపించాను ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఇది ఒక కాస్ట్ ఐరన్ పైప్ ఈ పైప్ చివర ఇక్కడ డ్రిల్లింగ్ బిట్ ఆగరు కాకుండా నేను ఇప్పుడు చాపింగ్ బిట్ పెడతాను ఐ విల్ షో యూ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద చాపింగ్ బిట్ వాట్ వాట్ ఐ విల్ డూ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇన్ సైడ్ ది పైప్ ఐ విల్ సెండ్ ది వాటర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద హాలో పైప్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ సాలిడ్ పైప్ ఈ లోపల ఖాళీ ఉండదు ఇందులో నుంచి నేను వాటర్ పంపుతాను ఫర్ ది బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐఎమ్ స్పీకింగ్ ఇన్ తెలుగు డోంట్ మిస్టేక్ అన్ సో ఐ విల్ సెండ్ ది వాటర్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి లెట్ మీ షో యూ నౌ సో ఇది పంప్ ఈ పంప్ లోంచి వాటర్ నేను ప్రెషర్ కి పంపుతాను ఇప్పుడు ఇది ఎందుకు చేస్తారా ఈ ఈ పైన టాప్ ఇక్కడ నుంచి వాటర్ కిందకి వెళ్తుంది ఇలా బయటకు వస్తుంది ఈ డ్రిల్లింగ్ రాడ్ యొక్క చివరి నుంచి బయటకు వస్తుంది ఇప్పుడు వాటర్ ఎక్కడికి వచ్చింది అంటే నౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ వాటర్ ఈస్ టచ్చింగ్ ది సాయిల్ ఎందుకు వా వాష్ చేస్తున్నాం ఇక్కడ సాయిల్ ఎందుకు వాష్ చేస్తాం అనేది ఎవరైనా చెప్పగలరా మీకు ఏమైనా గెస్సింగ్ ఉందండి ఎనిబడి కెన్ గెస్ వై ఐఎమ్ అప్లైంగ్ వాటర్ టు సాయిల్ సో వై ఐఎమ్ సెండింగ్ వాటర్ త్రూ డ్రిల్లింగ్ పైప్ అండ్ వై ఐఎమ్ ట్రాయింగ్ టు ఐఎమ్ వై ఐఎమ్ ట్రాయింగ్ టు 
wet the soil what is the reason why i am washing the soil what is the question adi correct answer it so in order to make the soil soft you please uh, easy penetration adi chala simple ga cheppadanu so uh, uh, thank you so uh, anyhow uh, he helped us for easy penetration for easy penetration we are applying water i'm sorry ओके वीर अप्लाइंग वाटर थ्रू पंप एनक पंप वाड़ता प्रेजर को वाटर वेलते प्रेजर को वाटर वेलते तुंदर इध अंत मन की पेनेट्रेषन इंका ईजी अवत सो द्रिंग इज ईजी पेनेट्रेषन अन ड्रिंग अन बोरिंग अन द रईट वर्ड इज बोरिंग आर् ड्रिंग ड्रिंग अने पदम मन की वाड़क यू कैन यूज अंडली दर्ड ड्रिंग इंस्टेड आफ बोरिंग सो बोरिंग मीन मेकिंग ए हॉल इन ग्रउंड वन सैकंड ऐ वि टेल यू मेकिंग ए hole in the ground so anyhow now i am applying the water now i am applying the water so now what what, what is going to be happen now once water is uh, mixed with the soil actually now it is uh, because of i am sending water with pressure now it is again coming in upward direction whatever the water mixed with the soil it is coming in the upward direction it is coming in the upward direction so now it is reaching in the pit this is what i say pit edges and actually whenever you might be observed in day to day life uh, when agaring is going on when somebody is making bore well so you might be observed they are trying to construct one pit edges and to the hole so now the entire uh, whatever the water mixed with soil is now deposited in this pit now somebody can ask me what is happening now so now again water is collecting here again water is collecting in this pit now what i will do again i will use this water i don't want to waste this water i want to reuse that water now again i will connect with some pipe now water is now coming to sump now sump to pump pump to uh, pump to pump to nose of the drilling rod now uh, water is coming out from the chopping bit chopping bit now again water is recirculating and it is collected in the adjacent pit now it is so this is what i say continuous mud circulation so the thing is i am circulating so if is somebody now having a one question no doubt i know that uh, i know uh, what you are feeling inside uh, the thing is uh, what is this uh, tripod what is this see if i want to maintain the verticality of the drilling rod manamu drill chestunna appudu vankar ga vellipoddam rod ila ila elipoddi ee vankar ga vellakunda correct ga vertical ga undadam kosam tripod veskuntam i will show you that video you don't worry i will show you real time video how people are making hole in ground so now the thing is see uh, this is the tripod actually now you you can ask me uh, what what is this winch winch so winch is meant for uh, winch is meant for controlling controlling means rising and downing this drilling rod so this is pulley actually so this pulley actually uh, and it is having this steel rope the steel rope is connected to winch and ultimately this uh, steel rope is passing through pulley and it is connected to the nose of the drilling rod nose of the drilling rod so this is the entire setup entire setup the water is circulating now actually water is there in the sump now it is connected to pump because uh, water now forcibly with pressure water will enter into the drilling rod now water is coming out from the drilling rod with soil now whatever the soil mixed with water is deposited here so now i will remove the soil now water is only the, water is now it is there now i i i am using i am using water once again for circulation so water is in circulation and undoubtedly i can expect one question from you during this uh, boring wash boring there is a likely chance of collapse of the bore hole see this is a ground actually this is the ground actually now this is the soil somebody can ask me if this if if the sides of the bore hole is collapsed what what is the solution can you suggest any solution yes there are certain solutions are there uh, we can avoid this cave in cave in means collapse of the sides by by using casing pipe here you see casing pipe casing pipe means it is also cast iron pipe we are using so uh, sometimes people use if you are not using casing pipe they they use this bentonite slurry that means what they will do in this sump actually we are sending water 
no doubt we are sending water so we will add this bentonite powder bentonite powder to water now this drilling mud this is very popular drilling mud is bentonite slurry bentonite slurry is used as uh, used as a drilling mud the the purpose of using drilling mud is to stabilize the to stabilize the side slopes for example when you are doing boring in uh, sandy soils it is true that sandy soil will not retain without any support that's why whenever you are uh, doing what i say boring in uh, uh, cohesionless soil it is always prefer to use casing or if you if casing is not permitted maybe you are finding difficulty in uh, in introducing casing you can use this bentonite slurry in many times civil engineers knows this language whenever any boring is going on I, when uh, actually in my case also when i visit uh, some piling construction uh, even uh, it was very recently uh, large piles uh, piles uh, are constructed at bin circle for the ongoing flyover uh, second phase of the flyover uh, you might be noticed they use the dmc if you ask the site engineer if you go there and if you go any site if you ask any engineer uh, they will tell you is going on they will tell you they will tell you dmc is going on you can ask me what is dmc dmc means let me tell you drilling mud circulation drilling mud circulation when you are going for an interview people will ask you do you know dmc you you don't be surprised dmc means drilling mud circulation what is drilling mud drilling mud means drilling mud means it is a slurry that means you know slurry means you know slurry means One gauge bentonite, hundred uh, what I say, ten liter water. Slurry means like that, cement slurry like that, up to ten like that. So uh, we will add bentonite powder. Bentonite actually it is in solid form. It is available in powder. Uh, it is available in market. You can go there. You can collect. Uh, you can get. Uh, you can purchase bentonite. So if you ask any borehole person. they may not know the no they, they may not know the name of bentonite they call powder we are using powder 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 means bentonite so they will add bentonite with water now this bentonite slurry is forced to forced to pass it through this drilling drilling rod now this you see this slurry is passing now through the bottom of the drilling rod see bottom of the drilling rod is fitted with chopping bit chopping bit i will show you different chopping bits you don't worry chopping means somebody can ask me what is chopping chopping vegetables so this chopping bit is very sharp bit which chop the soil into pieces which so i will show you now uh, this is a percussion boring so you, you see there are different types of borings let me tell you there are different types of boring uh, most popular boring agar boring uh, but the biggest limitation of agar boring is uh, you can do agar boring for shallow depths for shallow depths that means uh, you can comfortable use for highways and railways uh, you can comfortable use for highways and railways but not for buildings but not for building if the soil is good like this uh, as i shown you uh, like this uh, you can go for uh, uh, agar agar boring now the thing is now you can see different boring techniques agar boring wash boring rotary boring percussion boring so these are the different methods of boring agar boring wash boring rotary boring percussion boring okay anyhow i will give you the notes i will uh, write also actually in the beginning of the class i i want to write it but uh, today it was not uh, materialized but tomorrow i am ready with my writing also i will write i will solve problems on paper whatever the problems i have solved i will send to you i will send to you i will take this snaps i will send to you you do not worry if anything happen uh, not, not anything happen not, not happen in a right way you don't worry i will give you the information you do not worry i will send i will share my presentation and also i will uh, uh, try to share the video recording also by taking permission from the uh, authorities okay now because i am reading this uh, i am recording this session you do not worry so now agar boring Uh, this is post hole agar this is helical agar as we discussed this is agar boring just now we discussed about very popular method of boring wash boring this is also uh, one type of boring when soil is uh, stiff actually when soil is stiff 
so because where the penetration is not so easy then we will add water then the ground will be soften soften then we can do e easy penetration so this is the main understanding of wash boring why i am calling wash boring the reason why because i am washing the soil with washing the soil with can anyone spell now washing the soil with washing the soil with water washing the soil with water now a percussion boring actually in percussion boring we use heavy drilling bit chisel you can see this is a chisel actually uh, you please uh, see here now my cursor you can see this is a very uh, large you see you can see this is a actually heavy drilling bit chisel so we will apply the blouse tap 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 we will give the impact then this chisel is trying to penetrate into the ground so this is quite common actually uh, percussion boring when so when hard soil is there when hard soil is there so we can uh, do percussion boring we can make the hole in ground by using percussion boring okay so uh, let me move to the next one this is a rock core drilling here you can see these are all nx core actually you can see here this is what actually core drilling we call this is also one method of drilling whenever you come across a rocky strata whenever your ground consists rocky strata you cannot do agar boring you cannot do wash boring even uh, uh, what i say uh, percussion boring also difficult in that case we will go for rock core drilling see this rock core drilling we must be very cautious you just see these teeth ee pallu chodandi din teeth ela unayo mana cheyi padithe mana cheyi neat ga vachestadi shape and you just imagine the sharpness of this bit bit means you don't mistaken bit means the end of the drilling rod we are fitting with bit chopping bit here in wash boring we use chopping bit in agar boring we use augers end of the drilling rod we use augers in uh, uh, wash boring we use chopping bit uh, in percussion boring we use heavy chisel uh, in core drilling in diamond core drilling Uh, some people called diamond core drilling so you can see now you just uh, it will it will cut the rock sample so that's the beauty so whenever uh, you want to collect the rock uh, rock core you use this uh, uh, rock core drilling bits you can visit uh, this rock core drilling bit in our uh, concrete technology laboratory where you can found how people are collecting concrete cylindrical cores from the from the surface of cement road సిమెంట్ రోడ్ వేసాక వాళ్ళు కోర్ కోర్ తీస్తారండి కాంక్రీట్ కోర్ సేమ్ అదే ఇది రాక్ కోర్ డ్రిల్లింగ్ బిట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ రాక్ కోర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫర్ రాక్ కోర్స్ కలెక్టింగ్ రాంగ్ సాట్ దిస్ ఆర్ ది కలెక్టెడ్ రాక్ శాంపుల్